So here we have some missing digit short division problems. And I've written this first problem out twice. And that's because there's two different solutions. Now, something divided by 4 is 1. Now you might think you can just put a 4 in here, but look at the next digit. If there's no remainder, that would be 2 divided by 4 is 5. So clearly, they haven't divided 2 by 4 to get 5. They must have divided 22 by 4 to get 5 remainder 2. And because we know that they must have divided 22 by 4, that means that this digit here must be a 6, because 6 is the only digit that will leave a remainder of 2. So 6 divided by 4 is 1 remainder 2. 22 divided by 4 is 5 remainder 2. And then we know that the first digits are 2, but we know that something divided by 4 is 6. Well, if we look at the next digit along, we just have a 4, and that's obviously divisible by 4, so we might not have any remainder here, and we know that 24 divided by 4 is 6, and then 4 divided by 4 is 1. So, with missing digit problems, it's a good idea to rub out your working and just leave the digits in the boxes. But there is a different solution to this problem. We start in the same way, so something divided by 4 is 1, but if we look at the next digit, 2 divided by 4 isn't 5, they must have divided 22 by 4 to get 5, remainder 2. So this first digit has to be a 6. But there's different solutions for these digits here. Now, 20 something divided by 4 is 6. Now we know that 24 divided by 4 is 6, but it's possible that they did have a remainder here. Because 24 is also divisible by 4. So, what would leave a remainder of 2? Well, 26 divided by 4 would be 6 remainder 2, and then they might have done 24 divided by 4 to get 6 as their last missing digit. Now, we have something divided by 5, but notice we don't have any number at the top, so they must have taken these first two digits together. What number divided by 5 is 8? Well, that's 40, so they must have started with 44 and divided by 5 to get 8 remainder 4. Then, 46 divided by 5 is 9 remainder 1. And then something divided by 5 is 2, so it must be 10 divided by 5 is 2. So our final missing digit must be a 0. Again, we can rub out our working so that we've just got the digits in the boxes. Now, 8 divided by 3 is 2 remainder 2, 21 divided by 3 is exactly 7, and now something divided by 3 is 0. Now you might think this digit must be a 0, but remember there can be a remainder, and here there probably is a remainder because we've got something divided by 3 is 7. So if we do this box first, we know that there must have been 21, because 21 divided by 3 is 7. But to get this 2 in front of the 1, there must have been a remainder 2. So it must have been 2 divided by 3 is 0 remainder 2, because then that gave them the 21 to divide by 3 to get 7. 
so we just rub out our working and we found all of our missing digits.